Good evening short story writers and today's prompt is brought to you courtesy of not Isaac Newton but and certainly not Einstein but gravity itself and that is that every now and again things succumb to gravity you think you put them securely somewhere and then things fall from that place onto the floor now that's the rational explanation. However, your protagonist is going to interpret it at a sign because in your story, the falling of the object occurs while your protagonist is having a moment of musing or doubt about something. For example, they could be thinking about a long lost relative as, as in that person died, uh, their, their parent. And then suddenly something falls to the floor. And in the same way that some people believe that, <clears throat> I don't know, the, the appearance of, say, certain insects signifies that that person is trying to give them a message. Um, this also is interpreted as that person trying to give them a message and they act accordingly. So, what could that story lead to? We'll start, as usual, with literary fiction and then romance. And they both could be the same thing. With the romance, uh, the person, Bridget Jones style, decides to get off their behind and go find um, a romantic partner. In literary fiction the person could be inspired to make some huge change in their life and the story would be uh, uh, an account of the obstacles they encounter perhaps from their own family who don't like these changes and try to stop them or just from life itself i mean as an example they are thinking about what would my mother have done in this situation. Something falls to the floor. <coughs> they decide it's their mother saying, yeah, do something. So they decide to enroll on a course which will lead them to get skills to be I don't know, a marketing manager or a, a, a dental hygienist or, or you know, a nurse or even medicine. Um, something like that and they encounter obstacles trying to get their work and life balance and home and relationships while they achieve this so and i know it's literary fiction and it tends to be either ambiguous or pessimistic be nice if it had a happy ending yeah because people do this all the time they enroll in the open university or the equivalent in their countries and they do overcome massive, massive, massive obstacles and achieve things. So, for the sake of the entire world, give your, <laughs> give your story an optimistic ending. Okay, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go on to biographical and political next because there was a similar story about Dick Whittington in England. Uh, went to London to seek his fortune, having heard that the streets were paved with gold. How many people go to Hollywood for the same reason? And or I would imagine it's Mumbai for a Bollywood career. Every country has its Hollywood. We have London, which there's a film industry there as well, and a music industry. People go there to try and make it big with a band. Some succeed, some fail. Anyway, Dick Whittington, the story goes, he got there, was a bit disappointed to find it was actually paved with something rather less than gold. Went back, fell asleep on the outskirts of what was then London, about the 14th century, I think. And <clears throat> fell asleep, and he was woken by, I believe it was, well, some bells, some church bells. And while he was groggy and waking up, he thought they were saying to him, turn back Dick Whittington, Lord Mayor of London. So he thought, oh, okay. And just like Mayor Goldie Wilson in 
Back to the Future, first one, <clears throat> he decided, yeah, I like the sound of that. And he went back and he was actually, he, uh, he, he made it, I think he was, it's it's in Wikipedia somewhere, uh, that he was, he was the mayor something like seven times in ten years. And he was also a successful merchant, he imported carpets. So, people do have these little epiphanies. What have we got? Comedy, well... <clears throat> it could quite easily lead to hilarious results. Uh, Sci-fi, fantasy, surreal and horror. Well, the Dick Whittington story could have a horrific twist. He could end up as a member of a cult. He enters the, the, the Freemasons didn't exist then, but maybe in order to get on, he enters this cult and he has to uh, perform human sacrifices or one of them comes back to kill him or haunt him or something like that surreal along the same sort of lines fantasy along the same lines sci-fi okay well somebody isn't about to be held back by the fact that they are deemed inferior um but then they're about to give up and then something falls to the floor and says no go for it and they then become a space ranger something like that yeah. New life in the stars, all that. What else have we got? Historical, done it. Political, done it. Biographical, done it. Okay. Right, that's it then. Uh, six minutes and 32. Well, not quite five minutes, but there you go. All right, so if you have enjoyed this and you think that story prompts are useful, these story prompts are useful for your fellow writers and you think that the world needs more inspiring fiction, in the form of short stories please subscribe please hit like and all that stuff okay get writing happy writing good evening yeah bye <laughs>